Hello, everyone. I'm Barbara Nickel, president of the League of Women Voters of uh, the Mount Baldy area. I'm here with Jerry, who's going to introduce herself now. I'm Jerry Classic, board member of the uh, League of Women Voters of the Mount Baldy area, and here to present the pros and cons of the county measures on the ballot. So I do wanna say a little bit about the League before we get started. Uh, the League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan organization that never supports or opposes candidates or parties. We do, however, empower voters and defend democracy through advocation, advocacy, education, and litigation at all levels of government. And I urge you, if you want to know more about us and what we're working on, to go to our website at lwvmountbaldyarea.org and uh, look through our website. You'll find a lot of stuff that we have been working on. So I'm going to share my screen now and as I do that so that we can get ready to listen to Jerry's presentation. Okay, there are three Los Angeles County ballot measures on your ballot in addition to the 10 state ballot measures, uh, which if you go to our YouTube channel, uh, we, have, we will have presented those also. The measures are measure A, E, and G, and all were put on the ballot by the Board of Supervisors for the county. The first measure, Measure A, is the Homelessness Services and Affordable Housing Ordinance. The question is to create affordable housing, provide rental assistance, increase mental health and addiction treatment, and reduce and prevent homelessness. Shall the measure repealing Measure H tax and replacing it with a half cent sales tax, raising approximately $1.1 billion annually, until the voters decide to end it with new audits and oversights be adopted. So what led to measure A? First of all, uh, measure, measure H was passed uh, in 2017 and it was a quarter cent sales tax for the same type of services that measure A would, uh, would fund. Then in 2022, the, the state legislature established the care court to treat those who are seriously mentally ill. Just this past March, we barely passed as voters funds for mental health, veteran housing, and homelessness initiatives. And then in June of this year, the Supreme Court ruled that enforcement of anti-camping ordinances would be allowed. Okay, Measure A proposes to establish a half cent sales tax for homeless and affordable homeless and affordable housing, repeal the quarter uh, cent sales tax from Measure H, and the expected revenue would be over a billion dollars in the first year. Over sixty percent would be for county for the county to use for homelessness services. 36% uh, would be used uh, by a new umbrella organization, which encompasses all the disparate uh, uh, organizations that were serving the homeless under one umbrella, so they're not working at cross purposes. And then 3% would go to the Development Authority for Housing Reduction. A yes vote, vote means support for the half cent sales tax for homelessness and housing efforts in the county. And a no vote means opposition to the new tax with continuing the existing funding structure with no new added tax. Supporters say the funds will pay for new affordable, immediate and interim housing. Um, it would support mental health and substance abuse treatment it would provide rental and legal assistance to prevent eviction so people do not become homeless. And it would increase accountability through audits and oversight. 
Opponents say the current tax hasn't delivered results. Homelessness has increased by 37% since Measure H, the quarter cent sales tax was put into place. And currently there are at least 75,000 unhoused individuals in the county. More taxes will burden those, um, low, those in the low income um, group. And um, the county board needs to be much more transparent and accountable with their funding, uh, with their funding as it is. Measure A is rushed because there are three years left on Measure A. It goes until 2027. Financial supporters are the Western States Regional Council of Carpenters, the Southern California Partnership for Jobs, and the California Nurses Association. Opponents, are, the opposition is the LA County Business Federation or BizFed. Okay, now we're on to measure E, the LA County Emergency Response and Infrastructure Ordinance. Shall an ordinance ensure uh, improving local firefighter and paramedic emergency response by levying six cents per square foot parcel tax um, with independent citizens oversight be adopted? Okay, what has led to Measure E? In 2027 and 2020, the uh, Board of Supervisors tried a similar parcel tax called Measure FD. It failed because at that time, uh, it needed a two thirds vote. Under a new law, only a majority vote is necessary. So it just needs a simple majority vote. So they're gonna try again. The proposal will cover 59 cities and unincorporated areas served by the county fire department. Uh, the start date is for 20, it, it would be 2025 with no sunset, it would be permanent. And uh, there's an exemption for seniors uh, 62 and over if they apply for it. Uh, from $60, $60 to about $300 would be added to the annual property tax, depending upon the size of your house. $600 would only be for a really sizable mansion. A yes vote means uh, you support a new property tax for fire and emergency services, new equipment, and 911 upgrades. A no vote means no new funding for firefighting, paramedics, wildfire response, or uh, any new uh, funding for 911. Supporters argue that the uh, funds would be used for new firefighting, paramedic equipment, better not, and better 911 response. It supports the hiring and training of firefighters and more emergency workers and it upgrades communication and IT systems. Opponents say that the tax would increase annually. That is written into the, um, the measure. It's uh, to increase up to 2% per year. The county should ma manage its existing $45 billion budget better. And the fire department has faced long-term underfunding why hasn't the county done something about this in the past? Key supporters include the, the LA County Firefighters Local 1014. Uh, key opponents include the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association and Mike Antonovich, retired fifth district supervisor. Now, the last measure is measure G the Los Angeles County Government Structure, Ethics, and Accountability Charter Amendment. The question is, shall the measure amending the LA County Charter to create an elected county official, an executive, an independent ethics commission uh, with a nonpartisan legislative analyst increase the Board of Supervisors from five to nine elected members 
uh, uh, using existing funding sources with no additional taxes be adopted. Currently, there are only five supervisors and each of them represent 2 million constituents. Uh, that's larger than uh, many small states. The county has been a charter county since 1912. The supervisors have always had both executive and legislative roles. The current structure is that there is an appointed executive officer who serves at the uh, will of the board and prepares the budget and administers other uh, departments. Since the 1970s, there have been four attempts to expand the board from to either seven or nine members, but voters mainly rejected those uh, attempts because of uh, fears of uh, cost overruns. Okay, the proposal uh, includes an elected CEO, which would be be elected, who would be elected beginning in 2028 with administrative and elect ex executive powers. This CEO would appoint to supervise and dismiss department heads. This person could veto certain supervisor actions uh, with the supervisors needing a two third vote to overturn the veto. And this person would develop the county budget and direct emer emergency response. It would establish an independent ethics commission by 2026. The new supervisorial districts would be drawn after the 2030 census with new supervisors elected in 2032 after new districts are drawn. Um, the fiscal impacts uh, include the fact that there is no new uh, monies or taxes specified in Measure G, but there are estimates saying that it would take about $8 million to cover the cost of expansion of the board. Okay, a yes vote means you're in favor of amending the charter to add an elected CEO, expand the supervisors to nine, and create an ethics commission. A no vote means you want to maintain the current st structure with no new CEO or additional su supervisors. Financial supporters include Lindsay Horvath, Ballot Measure Committee, and Lindsay Horvath is one of the supervisors. Eleni Kulinakis, uh, Ballot Measure Committee, and she's the Lieutenant Governor and running for governor. Supporters say it enhances representation and the potential for more diversity on the board. The elected CEO would be accountable to the voters. It strengthens checks and balances by separating the executive and legislative roles. The Ethics Commission and Compliance Office would address corruption and there would be no new taxes. Opponents include Supervisors Catherine Barker and Holly uh, Mitchell who abstained from the vote to put uh, Measure G on the ballot. Firefighters and Deputy Sheriff's Organizations and county employees who are part of the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees Union. Opponents say that the elected CEO lacks term limits and experience requirements. The new managerial roles would divert funds from critical services that the county oversees, such as mental health, housing, homelessness, and the county jails. That covers the county measures. There are also the state measures. We have YouTubes up on our website to cover those pros and cons of those measures. Also, if you go to vote411.org, you can learn more about the candidates on your ballot and their stands on different issues. We hope that you uh, vote by in the November 5th election. Ballots should be coming soon. Thank you all for joining us for this. And as Jerry said, please vote.